What's up, Eagles? I hope you guys are all doing well. It's been about two weeks since we've been out of school, and I know some of you guys might be feeling alone. However, no matter if we're in the building or out of the building, together we are all still Eagles. Many of you guys might be feeling distant, and some of you guys may be even happy that we're out of school. However, there is one thing that I know we all have in common. That is the boredom of being home all day. Which leaves us with one question. What can we do to cure this boredom? Well, today I got three things that you guys can do at home to help kill some time. The first thing that I got for you guys is learn a new skill. What I've been trying lately is learning off of YouTube on how to play the guitar. Now, I'm still pretty bad at it and I suck, but I'm hoping that by the end of this whole thing, I can finish and learn maybe one to two songs on the guitar. The second thing that I got for you guys is maybe creating a group chat with some of your friends. I have one right now that I'm currently just be, or having the chance to talk to my friends and stay in tune with them and maybe even play some games with them. And it's pretty cool. The third thing that I got for you guys is taking a walk. But lately, every day, I've been trying to get out of the house at least once or twice because I know it gets tiring of just staying in bed all day and just walking around the neighborhood, around the city, any chance I get. And it's actually been pretty cool. I've been able to see some things that I'm not used to seeing and learn some new things about my city. All right, you guys, that is all that I have for you guys. I hope you guys stay safe. I'm going to pass it off to my friend, Kobe. Hey guys, I hope you all are fine and are in fact safe and doing well. I just wanted to say a couple things that I don't really think many of us are thinking of. And the first one being why we are doing this. Why are we not at school? And of course there's the virus, but I specifically want to talk about who we're doing this for. And as many of us may know, this virus does not affect younger people the same way it does the elderly. So first off, we're doing this for people whose immune system cannot fight back. And that's not just the elderly. It's also for people who have medical conditions that impair their immune system. There's people who are immunocompromised as some may say and those are the individuals who are going to seek a lot of benefits from the fact that kids aren't going to school and some people aren't going to work because it will limit the spread of the, the virus itself and thus those people who are seriously at risk can hopefully be safe and will not in fact catch the another virus. thing even though we are not at school and most of us are just inside and at home, we want to continue the contact between Federal High School and the people who go there. So we want you guys to know that the website for Howard High School is going to be uploading things weekly and making sure that everybody knows what's going on. And of course, just trying to continue our community, regardless if we're not seeing each other every day in person. So please go ahead and check out the website every now and then to, to see the, the new content that we will be. Hi guys, uh, my name is Jin, and then I wanted to introduce our Spirit Week for this week, because we're going to have a quarantine Spirit Week. So for Monday, today we have Binge Monday. So you can send in a picture or picture of your favorite show movie to binge watch or that you have binged and Tuesday we're gonna have um, TikTok Tuesday so sending that sending you doing or teaching a TikTok dance or anything about TikTok and on Wednesday we're gonna have a new creation Wednesday so it's gonna be a send a picture of something you built with Legos Minecraft or anything and for Thursday we're gonna have family and pet Thursday so you send in a picture of your family or your pet and on Friday we're gonna have a favorite memory Friday so send in a picture or video of your favorite memory of the year. Thank you.